What is up my energy bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay but today guys what I want to talk to you all about is the new update that came out today for Modern Warfare. So before we start I just want to say that I live stream on Twitch weekly numerous games for example Valorant which I nearly have drops for so once the drops are enabled you can actually watch me and you can get the game there. Also I play Modern Warfare the multiplayer side and the Warzone side so hopefully I'll be able to live stream more of that. Some Rainbow Six Siege, Casual and Ranked and I'll hopefully be live streaming more of that and of course many many other games. So first we'll talk about is the multiplayer side of Modern Warfare and then we'll move over to the Battle Royale, the Warzone part. So for a while now we have said that the OG Ghost Bundle was coming out. Now this was a while ago when we said this and now this is coming out in this update and there will be 10 items in this bundle so maybe two weapon blueprints some calling cards maybe just a calling card a skins and many many more so if we look at this picture which is on your screen now we actually see the OG ghost beside Alex and if we actually look in the background we it sort of looks like a building under construction now this is hard hat because hard hat is actually been confirmed to be coming out and it is coming in today's update for anyone who doesn't know what hard hat is or know of hard hat this is an old map or an og map an old school map from modern warfare 3 that everyone everyone loved and i personally thought it was one of the best ones maps in modern warfare in that game now of course with hard hat coming out this week we will have a 24 7 playlist i'm thinking it's just for this week for hard hat and of course if people love it like they loved uh shoe house 24 7 it'll probably be in the game the whole time we also got another map which is isle 9 which i talked about in a previous video which i said it will be a 2v2 map or a gunfight kind of map however seemingly there's actually going to be a respawn modes on this map now the playlist that will be for this map is actually named clean up on isle 9 now i i just love this fucking name like it's catchy it's just funny now it's a 3v3 map and the game modes will consist of team deathmatch or tdm kill confirmed grind and domination now this is going to be absolutely chaotic and i don't know how the spawns will work on such a small game or such a small map and because really and truly the spawns are already messed up in modern warfare they're just terrible i don't i don't understand how they're so bad now moving over to modern warfare's warzone or just warzone if you want to call it that we have some big changes for example playlists and changes to warzone now blood money quads is sadly coming back which is just so bad and i really don't know anyone who like plays this game like it's just plunder just a new name and we also have a new item coming which is armor box just like a munitions box now for anyone who doesn't know what a munitions box is this is a box where you can actually resupply your ammo tacticals and lethals this is both in modern warfare the multiplayer and in the war zone so what the armor box will do is resupply your armor which is going to come in really really clutch if you're in like that like close quarters place or you're pinned down and you need armor and you can't go to a buy station and there's no loot around you that has armor this is going to really help you and it'll change the meta now you can find this in loot boxes or chests whatever you want to call them throughout the map or you can actually buy one in the buy station now if we look at the buy station you can see that the munitions box is five thousand dollars which leads me to think that the armor box will be $5,000 too or if you're using hardline I think it's about 25% off so if it goes down to around 3000 to 3500 I think it is now this is going to change the game so much because you can have 5 armor plates basically to start off with or to hold with this then if you get an armor bag you can actually have 8 armor plates now this is where I'm a little confused with the munition box. It resupplies you fully. So does that mean will the armor box do the same? 
So if so, then if you're, say, you're in quads or you're in a squad and you all have armor bags that holds eight armor plates and then if you don't have eight, of course, if you have three or four or something like that, all of you do together. And if you use the armor box, do you get resupply back up to the eight armor plates or does it just go up to the standard five now this is going to be interesting to see because this will really really change the whole game itself because somebody can run a uav somebody can run a precision airstrike and another one could have a munitions box and then box and then another one could have the armor box and it'll be it'll be interesting to see said the least next thing is a change to the gulag and they are actually adding new weapons to the Gulag. So some of the weapons they'll be adding to the Gulag are the M13, the AK-47, Ram 7, Kilo 141, Striker 45, and I think these will be on top of the pistols and shotguns already in the Gulag. Now, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that because I, I really don't know if this is going to be true or not. Or else it's just going to be, okay, we've used shotguns and pistols. Let's now change it up and use AORs and SMGs. Because the M13, the Kilo, AK-47 and all them are all, S are, are all AORs. And then we have SMGs coming in as well. So it's like this cycle of the Gulag will be all AOR and SMGs. The last one, shotgun and pistols. Maybe next will be LMG and snipers. And maybe RPGs then at the end or launchers at the end. I'm not really sure. There's also going to be a limited time game mode called Classic Battle Royale. So what is Classic Battle Royale? Well, let me tell you. This mode strips down Battle Royale and its features. No buy station. No contracts. And no gulag. If you're out, you're out. Survive. Enemies and an ever-collapsing circle to be the last team standing. So, this actually sounds pretty cool when you think about it. But, however, I feel this is going to bring more of a camper style to the game. That's already kind of more in the game now. But, it'll bring it more alive to the game. And, the one thing that isn't in this paragraph that I read... Which I hear you saying in the back of your mind, or I can just read your mind, is loadout drops. Now, we know in the normal Warzone, or in the normal Battle Royale of Warzone, that in the first and fifth round of the circle coming in, that the loadout drops actually enter, or they're dropped in. But we don't know if the playlist will have loadout drops. Now, I kind of hope it doesn't, because... These actually give a huge advantage to the people and I can understand them being in the normal game of Warzone but I feel like this shouldn't be in the classic playlist for this is a feature that has never been in a battle royale that I know of that has loadout drops and it just seems weird. Now as of now there's not a lot of gun tweaks happening there was meant to be RPGs and everything like that that were going to be just nerfed to fucking hell which is so good because... If you know, if you play Warzone, you know, you have to have a, gr a grout and then you're going to have to have to have a bazooka or a rocket launcher or RPG, whatever you want to call it, just as your secondary because that's just the way the game's been played now and it's just so, so annoying. And hopefully I can have another video either tomorrow or the day after that on changes that are going to be in the game. So... This is the end of the video guys, I hope you did like it, if you did please hit the like button, right beside the like button there is a subscribe button that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload a video to the channel or whenever I go live on this channel which is rare. Speaking of live streams, like I said, link down in the description below to my Twitch that I live stream weekly on, I also have a Twitter that I manually update, link to that will be in the description below as well and that's where I... Uh, update people on hey i just uploaded a video or hey look this i'm live on twitch and that will be down in the description below as well and yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace